Hey YouTube, um, I'm just doing this as a short pre-recorded clip. This is kind of an update on things and figuring out some stuff. Uh, basic, first of all, so you can see all the panels have not stayed on the door. That was kind of expected. I wasn't going for a permanent solution. These ones are coming off even more. So basically what I've decided to do, because I was putting them back on a little bit earlier today and mushing with them on the the star, the, the tack. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna leave them off, and then I'm going to, I'll put these back on when I have the, um, any noise coming <clears throat> from the outside, like my stepdad gets on a call with someone at work or something. Hopefully I can catch that, because I was like hoping it would happen like today or something, but it didn't, where he was talking as he usually does. And you can see that one's sagging down a bit. I think the main issue is they sag down some because the bottom ones end up touching the floor and rubbing and pulling off that way. But so those will go back up if I have, um, <coughs> excuse me, you know, when there's noise going on. So we'll go ahead and stick you guys in the mount for a bit and take a look at the uh, new um, filing cabinet and figure out where I'm going to put it. Also, I finally brought my collection of CDs up here. Most of those, e oh, easily like 98% of those are, maybe 95, are like music CDs. And I'll be talking about that in its own video, but, so it's, it's over just a spit, there we go. And there obviously is still this mess of cables on the floor, but I just wanna see where exactly I want this. I was thinking, so first of all, the filing cabinet uh, looks better than if I had like a nightstand type thing next to uh, my desk. That would be a little awkward and kind of like if I tried to have it be an extension of the desk, sure that, you know, that wouldn't work. And, um, so what was the other thing I was thinking of? Oh, so the filing cabinet itself will actually look more, less out of place, is what I'm trying to say. So I was trying to decide, do I put it on the right side or the left? And while I like the idea, because this is probably going to have my CRT, and I'm going to just have to figure out how to fit my other two monitors on this desk or some way to have the heavy monitor mount attached somehow in something. Who knows, maybe I just get a giant pot and I fill it with cement or something and then somehow have the monitor mount attached to that. I don't know, but if I can get away with having my two monitors on the one desk and just having their stands really close to the edge, you know, that can work too. I'm also in a situation where I do have a little bit of depth using the window sill. So I was trying to decide left or right, but I'm realizing if I put this on the right, that's where all my plugs are. And I don't remember how deep the CRT is um, for the, the monitor, but I'm just going to rough estimation. How do I rough estimate that? No, here we go. We'll grab my light stand. I don't have a tape measure on me right now, and I don't want to have to go out and grab one. So I'm just going to guesstimate. Oh, how deep is my TV? Okay. So. My TV is from the end of this rod to the finger, about, right? So I'm going to say a little bit shorter for the CRT. That's tough. Oh, yeah, like, maybe with the way it sits, but I'm, I'm just going to put my desk to the right and the CRT stand to the left. I don't know what I'm going to be putting inside of the... Uh, of this yet. I thought about the cables that are literally sitting on the ground right now, maybe putting those in there. I don't know. 
can be used to hold film gear. By the way, if you didn't see the other video, I paid eight dollars for this from Desert Industries. Good old thrift shopping. So let me I'll worry about that sticker later. Use some goo gone or something. Yeah, having having just like the uh the LED monitors is gonna be better over here because um like using this as an example it's not very deep right and making cables can fit around it and so you know ah i still need to have my my mom replace the usb ports on that plug over there so let's uh actually tilt this up just a bit and i'm gonna go ahead and put the drawer in my desk i feel that the uh JB Weld has dried. In those screw holes enough. Hey, come on. Just a little bit, a little bit stiff feeling, but If I take this uh, get this piece of tape, Completely forgot. I should, I should find you guys over a bit. The tape was for um, marking where to put the screws on so that we wouldn't end up like screwing into the. Uh, Screwing into the drawer. Okay. There we go. Just ah, oh, there we go. There might be a tiny piece of tape. bottom there but at this point I don't care. So I think this can go over just a bit. Let's readjust. Okay. Um obviously that's a little bit taller and this doesn't entirely answer where the other computers that will be utilizing the CRT will go because I'll want my older computers to do that. So at this point, like, if I needed to, I can get some kind of a mat or something that I put underneath the desk to raise it up a bit if I wanted these to be flush. Having this be a little taller I think is okay because it's a filing cabinet next to the desk. It's not trying to entirely be a desk extension. And, um, man, if the way these monitors are gonna fit, I'm probably gonna have to have this over a little more and there can be a bigger gap in between the two. Mm, I don't know, this is stuff that it's like once you get up here, then I'll be able to play with spacing and size. But other than that, it does look good in the spot. Could use just a little bit of a wipe down. There's a little bit of dirt on top, but I think it looks fine and will be great and again we'll i'll figure out what to put in there as time goes on who knows maybe i'll go to a locksmith and commission some keys for it or something not that i absolutely need them or anything like that 
But I just barely caught that it actually, uh, I ran out of room, and so it, well... Actually, no, it looks like it has a 10 minute limit. I'm not sure why. So I didn't run out of room, but I did delete some footage. That's good to try and remember for the future that it has that limit. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it for, you know, this short little video here. Uh, everything's looking good. It's slowly coming together. Um, you know, actually given yeah, given the way that this is, what I want to do, make one more last minute adjustment here. Let me scoot this over. Then I can take my rack. Saw some really nice looking ones at Savers today that were like, kind of artsy and tilted back, and they looked cool. They were like $6 a piece. This one's good enough. And I kind of like, don't want to just move all my CDs over. Having this the way it is is actually a pain enough. Like I don't listen to my CDs. I just copy everything over to MP3VO. And I have the CDs because they were cheaper to buy them at the thrift store than to buy the album digitally online. It's sometimes even cheaper to buy the CD online, but then it's this thing where, oh, I got a new CD, it needs to be alphabetized by the artist. Now I have to move five, 10 CDs all down one slot. <sighs> no, I'm just gonna just screw this back. Okay. Actually, and I kind of like having that on the right side there, and then, this can go there and ooh. Just notice for some reason the case on this monitor is like a little bent. Uh -huh. But it snapped back. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for this little clip here. And I will see you guys in whatever's next. And if you guys want to go support me, you know, liking, subscribing, sharing the video with friends and family, or patreon.com slash coastals101. See you guys in whatever's next.